What's up you guys, Jaden here with the Moonlight Craftsman channel. Uh, I'm just doing a short little video on lining the bottom of my dog's kennel here that I have inside the garage. Thought it might be useful to some of you guys out there. And it is January 2nd, and so I thought I'd go over a few things new in 2022 that uh, I wanna focus on. So this will just be a easy build and Maybe me just talking a little bit. So here we go. So I have a detached garage here and it's got heat, air conditioning. So my dog's got it pretty well off uh, in the summer and the winter months. Um, she stays out here all day, but she can come in the garage if she wants. Got this, made this little kennel for her. So it's just set in the corner of the garage and, you know, just attaches. I put uh, wood instead of sheetrock behind it and it's got a little door. So when I'm working in here, I can let her out and let her walk around. And then obviously it's got the doggy door back there. But what we're going to do today is going to put some foam insulation on the bottom there. Uh, I've used rugs and everything like that, you know, for her to lay on and she'll just rip them out and take them out to the backyard there. And um, they don't last very long, but uh, I happened to use some insulation one time, not that itchy stuff, but uh, this foam insulation I'll show you here in a bit. And uh, she seemed to love it and never drug it outside. So I decided I'd do the whole thing in that and I'm gonna kind of glue it down permanently and and uh, we'll see how long it lasts. But uh, so I got it uh, all cleaned out here. The concrete kind of scrubbed up so the glue will stick to it. And I'm gonna get some measurements and then we'll get to cutting. All right, so it wasn't square, nothing ever is. So this is kind of the way I do it when I mark out just a simple rectangle like that that's not square. I'll get my lengths on all four sides and then I'll put a square in two of the corners and then I'll make dash lines on here It's on the inside so I know it's gonna be sloping this way and my square is 24 inches long, so over the 24 inches, it's moving over a half inch. And then the same thing over here, it's, it's actually sloping that way a little bit, uh, but only three eighths over 24 inches. And then we should draw out these three sides and we should end up with 47 on that. So that'll be kind of a check. Well, I took another look at it and the right side I measured in a slightly different spot and it looks like it's more, it looks like it's actually pretty square on that side. So we'll see what that does. We'll get this cut out. Wish I had a longer blade, but you just need a real sharp razor blade for this. And this is Armaflex, but I did see if you look up like foam insulation sheets or Armaflex on uh, Amazon, there is sheets of this uh, with a different brand name I did find. So if you're interested in that, maybe you just hit me up in the comments and I can find the link for that. Alright, just pre-fitting it in here and got a pretty good fit looks like so go ahead and I think I'm gonna use contact adhesive and um, so we got to put that on both sides on the concrete and the Armaflex now. 
So I already coated the cement. I'm just using this DAP contact cement and we'll coat this here too. I'll probably save the remnants for uh, knee savers. They work pretty, pretty well for that. I actually used one when I was coating the inside of that. Set my knees on. But uh, yeah, I also said I'd talk about 2022 and you know, I'm wanting to up my game here on YouTube and provide more value to you guys. Uh, be more intentional with my videos. And so I've, I've uh, identified three areas I'm, I'm gonna work on. And that is uh, time management, my organizational skills. I've always had horrible organizational skills. I've always kept everything up here and then it gets pretty cluttered. You know, the more complicated your life gets, the more cluttered it gets. And so I'm learning to put things down on paper. And then uh, the third one is, you know, in order to stay focused and productive and clarity, need to really work on my on a healthier lifestyle I got pretty good gut here so I need to watch the stuff that I'm putting in my body and get more sleep and I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me right now I should be wearing a mask but um, so yeah I, I, I think that I've got maybe 273 subscribers right now and uh, you know, I appreciate every one of you guys. And I know that's not a lot of subscribers, but to me it's kind of proven that, you know, I can add some value uh, out there. And <clears throat> if I can get 273, to me that means I can get 200 and 273,000, you know, if I keep improving. Not with the videos I got out right now, but but uh, if I keep improving my skills, working on my skills, and stay consistent, be intentional with you know uh, my audience, with what you guys are looking for, and I always appreciate any feedback, and so I. I do want to increase the audience though, and so my goal for 2022 at the end of the year is uh, 5,000. And I know that seems like a lot, 273 to 5,000, but you know, it just takes a few videos and you can get there. So. And then, you, you know, also having the, uh, you know, a backlog of content really does help. So, you know, you put out a good video and you have four other ones for the person to watch. And then, you know, by the fourth one, they finally subscribe. Um, so, so I've, I've learned quite a few things over this last year. Um, looking to get better uh, I may not ever script my videos but I need to definitely outline them uh, just like right now I'm just talking I don't I'm not scripting this I don't I don't think that I'll ever be able to script the entire thing out but but uh, Anyways, that's just kind of some thoughts that I had on 2022 that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm going to finish um, putting the contact adhesive on this and then we'll let both sides dry. And then I'll show you how it turned out. All right, the adhesive is dried on both sides of the foam and the concrete. Let's see if I can set it in here. 
Now it's once it's pressed down, there ain't no moving it. So Looks like it ends, ended up stretching out just a little bit on me. But when I did the test fit, just do a little trimming. Let's go bring the dog in and see if she likes it. What do you think, girl? You like it? Huh? You like it? What do you think? Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. All right, you're going in there. Lay down. Okay. Go in there. Go in there. Elizabeth, what do you think? You like it? You like it? 